Hey y'all, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are picking my December TBR. Okay, so we are here to pick my December TBR. My December TBR is going to be a surprise for all of us. I don't have a ton of books that like are already like on my tentative TBR in my head. Just like in November, this is going to be a month about catching up on some things that fell behind, as well as some TBR videos or vlog videos. So I do have some holiday vlogs coming out, just so I have a couple of books for those. And by a couple, I have like 23 books <laughs> that are kind of like on a tentative TBR in my head for a holiday, holiday vlog. And then I kind of want to start prepping for January as well, because January is a huge release month. So I should probably get ahead on a couple of those. I also will be participating in the Historical Romance Readathon, which is taking place, I think, from the 6th to, to the 12th, if I'm not mistaken. I will have a separate TBR for that. However, since I do pick prompts out of a jar, I did snag a couple of the challenges that I know I'm going to be hitting, and I threw them into the jar just so we can double up on some of those as well. I think that's it for December like plans. I kind of want to keep December pretty simple since I need to like start doing all of my like 2021 wrap up stuff. I don't want to like read too many things that I think are going to end up on those lists. So I feel like holiday books are a good safe bet. I think we're going to keep things pretty simple this month. I have no idea how many books I want to pick. I'm just going to kind of play by ear and see see where the prompts take us. I think let's just get right into the TBR. Okay, if you have not seen one of my TBR videos before, I will link last month's in the cards, but I pick prompts out of this little jar, and each of these prompts just has something on it, a challenge of some sort, and it helps me pick books off my TBR. The one rule for the books that I pick from this jar is that I have to own it in some capacity when I pick this prompt. So it can't be a book that I like want to pick up that month. It has to be something that I own, whether it is an ARC, an audiobook, a Kindle book, or a physical book. I need to own it in some way. So that way I'm actually reading the books that I've already picked up. Without further ado, let's pick the first prompt. So prompt number one is, let's go with this. Ooh, that's two. Let's go with this one. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is to read an intimidating book. So for an intimidating book, I am going with The Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And the reason this is being picked for the intimidating prompt is not only is it chunky, but I have been sitting here at about 50% since March. <laughs> and I just have not wanted to dive back into this book because I was honestly kind of bored around the 50% mark. And so I have just been putting it off. And I need to wrap this up before the end of the year. It is driving me nuts that it's still sitting on my TBR. I love Jennifer Elmer Trout. And this series has been a lot of fun. But this third book, for whatever reason, has just been a huge slog for me. There was a lot of info dumping happening. And I just, I got bored. But I have picked this up on audio as well. I used one of my Audible credits a while back to grab the audiobook. So I think, I think I'm just gonna listen to some of this on audiobook, try to get through that middle section because I've heard the last chunk of this is a wild ride. And this is the first book on my December TBR. That book was also on, I think like a list of books that I wanted to finish before the end of the year. So we're just, we're hitting, we're hitting a lot with that book. Round number two is, let's go with this one. And this is a book with disability or a mental health rep. So for this, I am going to go with The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lise. I don't know what rep is all in here, but all of Chloe Lise's books have some sort of mental health or chronic illness rep. So I'm fairly positive that this book will fit this prompt. I just don't know what it is. I have been avoiding the synopsis. The cover is so stinking cute. And this comes out, I believe, like the 1st of December, if I'm not mistaken. It is going to be a Kobo exclusive book. I don't know if it's eventually going to come to KU or anything like that. But for right now, I have downloaded Kobo specifically for <laughs> this book because I'm so excited. This is going to be my first Chloe Lee's book. But spoiler for 2022, I am planning to do a whole Chloe Lee's reading vlog. So prompt number three is... 
this one and this is a new challenge and that is a book for a video. So for this one I think I'm gonna go with one of my Christmas books since I really need to get some of those onto this TBR since they're gonna make up like a big chunk of my reading. And I think for this one, I'm going to go with Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. This is a romance anthology. I am so excited for this anthology. I'm not the biggest like anthology reader, but the authors on, on this book are some of my absolute favorites. And I was so excited when I saw all of them. Katie Robert was the one that brought this to my attention because I follow her everywhere on social media. But there are so many good authors on here and I am really, really excited this is one of the ones that kind of like inspired the entire holiday reading vlog thing because I just I want to hit as many holiday romances as I possibly can in December. So this is the next book on the list. If I keep picking like prompts this good, I might pick eight. So we'll see. Let's go with this one. And this is to read a fantasy book. So for a fantasy, I am officially putting Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco on my TBR. This was one of the books that made an appearance on the list of like books that I wanted to read before the end of the year. I think that was in my end of the year tag video. I'm cutting it a little close. We're <laughs> we're right at the end, but I I'm definitely definitely reading it in December. This is the sequel to Kingdom of the Wicked, which was actually one of my most disappointing books of 2020. But I've heard this is new adult and not YA, although I picked it up in the YA section, so I don't know about that. But this series follows a girl who loses her sister in a very brutal murder right at the beginning of book one and accidentally summons a demon king. The demon king, his name is Wrath, and he is what saved book one for me because I wasn't a big fan of the heroine and I thought the plot was a little messy. I'm excited to give the sequel a try. I really liked the Stalking the Jack the Ripper series. I thought the like middle two books were great. So I'm hoping the same thing happens with this one where it was like a slow start and then the middle picks up. I don't know how many books are in the series, but hopefully it doesn't end. I was kind of disappointed by the ending of Jack the Ripper. So hopefully this one has a better ending, but this is this is officially on my December TBR. Prompt number five is, let's go with this one. And this is to read an arc. So for this one, I am going to be hitting a couple of things. So I am putting The Runaway Duchess by... Is it Joanna Lowell on this TBR? This is going to be a January arc. So this is a book that is coming out in January. And this is also a book on my historical romance readathon TBR. That video will be coming out, I think, next. So you'll be seeing this book again. This is another sequel. This is the sequel to The Duke Undone, which I read, I don't remember if it was earlier this year or last, I, th I think it was earlier this year. And I really enjoyed that book. I believe this is like a companion novel, not necessarily like a straight sequel. I have no idea who this is following. I will look up the synopsis for this one for the historical romance readathon so that I can tell you more about it. But as of right now, filming this video, all I know about it is that I enjoyed the first book in this series and I'm excited to continue on with it. Prompt number six is this one. And this is to read a hyped book. Well, you can't see that at all. Hyped. I don't really have any good books <laughs> for this prompt. Um, I'm going to go with a like Christmas romance that I saw going around a lot on Instagram because I am trying to avoid picking too many like random books to put on this TBR. I'm trying to stick to <laughs> my set plan. So for this one, I am going to go with Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I wouldn't say this is the most hyped book out right now, but this is a brand new release from Tessa Bailey. And this is inspired by Ted Lasso. And everyone who has read this says it's really cute. I've been seeing it all over Bookstagram. I'm sure it's going to be all over Bookstagram in the month of December too, because it's such like a Christmassy cover. And so I'm counting this as hyped. You can fight me on that. But like I said, this is a Christmas romance that is inspired by Ted Lasso. It is a cinnamon roll hero. And that's really all I know about it is that the hero is inspired by Ted Lasso and it's a Christmas romance. I loved It Happened One Summer, which was inspired by Schitt's Creek. And so I'm really hoping this gives me like similar, similar vibes to where you can like see the inspiration, but it still feels like like a whole new story. So I'm really excited for this one. So I think I am going to pick eight prompts total because I have gotten a couple of short books on here. I do have this like chunky, <laughs> chunky, chunky book, but I got that anthology and window shopping and the mistletoe motive are both pretty short. I think, I think I'm going to pick two more. So prompt number seven is 
this one. And this one is a new to me author. So for this one, I am going to go with another Christmas story. I am going to read The Alien Nanny for Christmas by Amanda Milo. This book and this author both got onto my radar because of Brie from In Love and Words. Amanda Milo is her favorite author. And this is a Christmas romance between an alien. I think he's supposed to be like this sweet alien. And he becomes a nanny for a human child. And it's a romance between him and the mother. That's all I really know about this. The cover is so cute. I've heard Amanda Milo's books are fantastic. And this is another book that I am planning to read for that holiday reading vlog. And this is the one that I'm like, probably the most excited about because I haven't actually read an alien romance. Like I never got on the whole like Ice Planet Barbarian train. So I've read a lot of monster romances, but I don't think I've read an alien romance. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm excited to get addicted to Amanda Milo's books. I have more of her books sitting on my KU TBR. So I'm really excited for this one. And then the last prompt for this TBR is, let's go with, this one. And this is to read a romance. So for this one, I think I'm going to go with another historical romance. And for this one, I'm going to read Something Fabulous by Alexis Hall. Alexis Hall wrote Boyfriend Material, which I read, I think, last year. And I absolutely loved. I gave that one five stars. And this is their new historical romance. And it is also MM. And from what I remember, we are following a hero who is betrothed to a, like, friend of his. It is going to be a marriage of convenience, but she wants a like love match. And so she ends up running away because she's like, I don't want to, I don't want you to marry me just as like a, a convenience thing. I want to marry for love. And so he teams up with her brother and the two of them are going to go in search of her. But the two of them end up falling in love instead. I'm really, I'm really excited for it. I kind of hate this cover, not gonna lie. <laughs> the inside sounds like it's going to be really cute and I'm really excited. This also comes out in January, so this is also an arc that I need to get to. So again, hitting hitting a lot of things with this book. My December TBR for my physical books is only two books long. <laughs> the rest of them are all on my Kindle or their arcs or things like that. So we have a very short physical TBR this month. Just a little sneak peek. This is the list of books that I have for my holiday reading vlog. It's kind of intense. I ended up with like 23 books on that list. So I'm going to have to pick and choose which ones I'm going to actually read for that. Officially, I have eight books on my TBR. These are the two physical books that I have. I love that they're both like chunky fantasy romances. <laughs> And then the rest of them are going to be for my Christmas reading vlog or for my historical romance readathon. So December, December should hopefully be a really good reading month. And let me know what you are planning to read this month. Let me know if any of these books are on your TBR. And I will catch you on my next video. Bye.